bottom line is the Pentagon does not have good policy when it comes to transparency. A big change of course for the child abuse investigation Hill Air Force Base. I'm Fox 13 investigative reporter Nate Carlisle. For more than a year, we've been telling you how as many as 37 children may have been abused at the Hill Air Force Base daycare called the Child Development Center. Last week, the base commander sent this email to parents telling them that the investigation has reached a stage where they can start showing video of the alleged abuse to families. Previously, families have been told they could not see the video until the investigations were finished. And even then, the parents might have to file requests under the Freedom of Information Act. I think it's progress that's probably been brought forth by a lot of pressure, either from the parents themselves and, and media coverage. Steve Bainan is a reporter at Military.com. He's been reporting on abuse at child development centers across the U.S. military. On military daycares, they necessarily don't have to tell parents when their kids are abused or neglected or, or were hurt in any way. And when parents do find out about that, they face enormous hurdles to get just the most basic information. A year is way too long for parents to just get basic information on what happened to their kids. A spokesman for the 75th Air Base Wing provided Fox 13 with a copy of the email, but otherwise declined to comment. The videos are from the Hill Child Development Center. While almost no parents of the 37 children have seen the footage thus far, investigators have relayed descriptions that have been shared with Fox 13. Those descriptions include kids, some of them infants, being picked up or put down harshly, sometimes by their limbs, with heads ricocheting off bedding. I think it's pretty critical for parents to know to the extent that it is known exactly what was said or done to the child. Philip Basie is a child and adolescent psychiatrist who spoke to Fox 13 in May. What we know about adverse childhood events is that having one or more puts that child at risk throughout their lifetime for lots of issues, mental health issues and even uh, physical health issues. So far, no one has been charged with any crimes related to the abuse investigation. At Hill Air Force Base, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.